Hello, my name is Josie Nguyen. I am originally from Vietnam. I have two sons, both went to Brushy Creek, and Dara Nguyen, who is in fourth grade, Mrs. Ferguson's. Hi, Dara. I've been very fortunate to be involved with projects like this with BCE since 2014. Before COVID, I hosted the Vietnam Booth for International Children's Day, or ICD, for three years. Now it's my pleasure to read to you for Lunar New Year. Thank you for your trust. It means a lot to me when I'm being trusted by my local community here at BCE. Before I do, I would like to clarify a misconception with the term Chinese New Year. You know, kids, I think it would be best if we call it Lunar New Year instead of Chinese New Year. You know why? There's two reasons. Reason number one, Lunar New Year is based on the lunar calendar, which is based on the cycles of the moon, while the regular calendar that we normally use is based on the sun. A year is defined by the number of days it takes the Earth to complete one orbit around the sun, which is how many days? 365 days, right? Reason number two, Lunar New Year is celebrated not just by Chinese, the people in China, but by the people in other Asian countries, such as Vietnam, we call it Tet, Taiwan, Malaysia, Philippines, Korea, Singapore, Thailand, and Indonesia. And the diaspora refers to a large group of people who share a culture and regional origin, but are living away from their traditional homeland. Today, I'd like to read you a story called Children of Dragons and Grandchildren of Fairies. This is a very famous legend about the origin of the Vietnamese people. The original text in Vietnamese was done by Mrs. Quy Linh Thi Do and translated to English by Linh Dan Quy Do. The story was published by Elin Publishing. Children of Dragons Grandchildren of fairies, a long time ago, King Damon traveled to the south of his territory. There, in the midst of the mountains, he encountered a fairy. Struck by her beauty, he married her. She bore him one son, Lok Tok. When Damon grew too old to rule his kingdom, he gave the southern regions to Lok Tok. Lok Tok ascended his throne around 3000 BC. According to custom, he chose another name, Kinh Dương Vương, by which he would be known as king. As for the kingdom he now ruled, he called it Sit Quỷ. Kinh Dương Vương wed Long Nữ, the daughter of a lake spirit and of dragon descent. And together, they had a son whom they named Sung Lam. When Sung Lam inherited his father's throne, he chose the name Lạc Lâm Quân. Lạc Lâm Quân's wife, Âu Cơ, a celestial being of the mountains, gave birth to an enormous egg from which tumbled 100 babies. Those babies as legend tells us, are the ancestors of the Vietnamese people. The infants had high foreheads, prominent cheekbones, coarse ebony hair, and skin the color of turmeric. Today, the Vietnamese people still bear these traits. The baby's first steps promised of a sturdy gait that we still witness in the former as he guides his water buffalo across the rice paddy. The baby's gestures hinted at the life movements we observe in the Vietnamese woman as she weaves leaves into a non la or conical hat. When Lạc Long Quân's and Oka's children had grown up, Lạc Long Quân said to his wife, I'm descended from dragons and you come from the race of fairies. Like water and fire, 
We cannot exist in harmony. This being said, Lạc Long Quân and Âu Cơ parted from one another. Fifty of the children followed their mother to the mountains where amongst the pines tigers prowl. Fifty accompanied their father to the sea where upon its way rode a score of crimson crustaceans. When the eldest son of Lạc Long Quân and Âu Cơ came of age, He ascended to the throne. The Vietnamese people consider him Vietnam's first ruler and the founder of the Hong Bang dynasty. He called himself Emperor Hong, as did the subsequent 18 kings of the dynasty. Emperor Hong's father, Lạc Long Quân, had a mother of dragon lineage and a grandmother descended from fairies. Emperor Hong's mother, Oka, also came of fairy ancestry. For this reason, the Vietnamese people now call themselves children of dragons, grandchildren of fairies. Thank you for watching. May you have a happy, prosperous Lunar New Year, the year of the dragon, with good luck and good health.